Hello everyone, this is Ross here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're going to be checking out the first 15 minutes of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Uh, this releases on the 8th of December 2017. You can also head over to the Xbox Store now where you can pre-order it for £23.99. That's €29.99, €29.99. Right, let's jump into it and check it out. After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one, in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. The first, Galactica, was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by Cylon assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the Ad Hoc Fleet Headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on PyCon. The war room awaits your arrival, Commander. Icon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Okay, so this is the war room. Uh, from the table you would guide the course of colonial fleet during the early years of the first Cylon War. And uh, the fate of the 12 colonies and the future of humanity will be shaped by your actions here. I'll press A to proceed, so we'll do that. Uh, I believe this first bit will be a bit of a tutorial. Let's see how we get on anyway. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need my instruction twice. Tell your ships to move full speed towards the enemy. Right, so left and right trigger to zoom in and out. Uh, use D-pad to move a ship's projection and press A to toggle the elevation mode. Right, so we'll need to tell the ship to be going that way. I assume that is a target over there. So we'll uh, do that. Uh, we'll probably drop a little bit. Proceed confirm that. Confident with your commands. And switch to the other ship with the right bumper. And we'll uh, send him over that way. On it, Commander. 
Once we're ready, we press Y and uh, press and hold Y again to end the turn. Target and fire on any hostiles that move within range. Turrets will be less accurate the smaller or further away their target is. You can access a ship's fire control and check on its firing solutions for yourself. Right, so that was the first turn done. Uh, so we press the X button this time around. Turrets. Uh, press Y to use a focus fire ability and target a specific enemy with great uh, greater precision. So press Y. Target you. Right, let's uh, move you a little bit. Uh, zoom in. Let's move you over there. Happy with that. Confirm. You can move in a bit as well. Confirm and so turrets. Press Y. Focus fire on him. All right, let's see how we get on with that one. Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Okay. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact is a silent Corvette. Scanning for further intelligence. Right, once identified, select an enemy unit to see its data. So, there we go. These Cylon Corvettes won't hold up to sustained fire. Focus Zoom your turrets on one go. side to punch through their armor and destroy the hull. These ships also have long-range guided munitions, useful for softening a target before closing in for the kill. Right, so we can fire rockets at these. Uh, we'll go with that. Fire guided missile. So I'm using the uh, left stick on the selection wheel there as well. Missile tubes prepped. Alright, it's going to be firing at him. Do we need to... I suppose to send you over there. Drop it down a bit. Because all the ships come in, so I can send him after that one. And um, we'll switch to this ship. We'll set you to follow this one. Confirm as well as fire some missiles. Missile tubes prepped. Right. And turn, that's how we get on with that. Missiles incoming. Your ships don't seem to be performing as well as they should. Uh, they may have system damage that's been overlooked. Right, so we've taken some damage. So press X and highlight repair systems. Tell the engineering crews aboard those ships to hotfix what they can. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. Okay, then we need to use the uh, left stick to choose which section. It's highlighted the tech bay there. You see it's got some damage to its strength. So press A. That's going to auto heal that. And we can then. Can we use the missiles again? No, they're reloading. Okay, turrets. Focus fire on you. And we'll also move you forward as well. Understood. Confirm. And this guy. Let's get you to go over there. You up a little bit. Uh, turrets, focus fire. Right, I think that'll do. Okay, shoot on the front of the back. That's cool. ships destroyed. Now we can now access the tactical map. Press Y. Press 
hay on the map so we can have a look at the whole battlefield as you've been out here as well okay right next then let's get where are we this one get you to come around this way can be uh, still reloading the uh, missiles Focus fire on him, there we go. And then this other ship, we need to spin around, let's zoom out a bit. Okay, to turn right around. Confirm. Turrets. Focus fire, there we go. from us now is he? Okay, let's spin this guy around. Alright, rockets are still reloading. Alright, that's you sorted and then bring him this way over there. Targeting. Okay, let's go. Right. Can we yet use on it, Commander? Missiles, yes, Understood. we can. Good. Switch to you. You to go around that way. You can shoot your missiles Missile as well. Prepped. There we go. I should bring him down now. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we need to. Do that for you and confirm that. Switch to the other one. Just probably try and move out of the way of these rockets a little bit. If we can. Confirm and just double check that he's shooting in that direction. There we go. This is too far away. Open it up anyway with that other ship. All hostile contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Alright, there we go then. So, yeah, you can view the replay pressing the Y button. We're going to proceed here and go back to the war room. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do. Alright, so can we have a move around? Let's have a look. Bit of screen tear in there when you're moving about with this. There's blueprints. Tillium report, whatever that is. There's always screens around the sides to uh, probably unlock stuff as we play through. Um, yeah, available ship list and officers that you can recruit as well there. So, uh, what we're going to do though is going to leave the video there for today. So, this has been about 15 minutes of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. I hope this video is going to be a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, and what it plays like. If it does, please leave a like on it. Don't forget, as we said earlier on, it is available to pre order on the Xbox Store now. Uh, so, go and check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.